What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Motorfest and in this video I do want to go over a great way I found to basically level up all the oddball vehicles here on the game which obviously I would say many of them might actually be in that category. So we obviously have Drift and or even Dragster. Alpha GP I guess you could say could be one of them but that's most likely going to be one of the easier classes to level like the racing and or street tier 1 slash tier 2 but the other ones though guys motocross rally raid demolition rally and monster I would definitely say are probably going to be considered oddball classes and I would say many people are most likely not going to want to even level these up and or they're most likely wondering well what is the easiest way to do so. Now if I did have to guess guys I would say many people are most likely going to do the skill way and or do like the escape slash like some of these speed traps and basically restart them over and over again until they get the actual sets they are looking for but I do think I found an alternate way to actually level these classes up that way you guys can go after different part sets and or at least max them out and I would say it's probably going to be a great way to make extra money and or some of the spare parts in this game because obviously those are insanely important things that you do need to at least reroll different affix it stats and or you know go after other cars but for this guys many of the navigation and or time attack events are insanely simple and luckily you do not have to deal with the insanely annoying AI in this game which I know many people are not big fans of I mean for one they basically run into you and or in certain classes I even noticed guys for example using a motocross bike and doing one of the events I could barely catch any of the AI and I actually didn't even get in first I also found this to be a bit of a challenge with many of the other classes for example guys Guys, if you are using a racing bike, I did notice many of the AI, at least depending on which difficulty you are on, you can barely catch them and or even stay in first in most of the events. So doing some of the navigation slash time attack events is at least going to take that one annoyance out of doing these said races and or trying to grind out parts like going against the AI and or barely even getting first place. For example, in the Friday night rides, guys, when using a motocross bike, which by the way, I will be doing another video on this class, guys. I'm not a big fan of it, and I do feel like it actually went backwards from the crew too, but doing many of the events that do not have AI in them is probably going to be one of the best ways to actually level each class up, and that way you're also not going to have to deal with many of the annoying AI that obviously show up in basically every event, so they like running you off the road, or even in some cases they're obviously way too quick, and you literally cannot even pass them in some areas. I did experience this a lot while using a rally raid bike, so I would recommend trying out some of these other races, guys. For example, Drive This Way. We also have the Mustang Sally event here on the top of the map, basically right next to Turtle Bay Resort. Funnily enough, guys, I basically have done this race in every single class I have ran so far with leveling up, and I have to admit... It is by far one of my favorite races to do in this game so far with leveling these classes up, but you can also head over here to the middle of the map and do Hummer E Express. You can also do Porsche Express as well. Both of these events are awesome. You can also do many of the events in the Electric Odyssey playlist because many of them do seem to basically be against one car and or basically by yourself for that matter like a time attack and or like a finish the event type of race. So I really would recommend trying these out guys. They are by far like the most fun and or the best way to level and that way you can also get many of these events done and or a bit quicker and you can also go after many of these part sets and or at least start going after these set sets you want a bit quicker than before because let's be honest I have seen many of the people talking about the AI in this game and or how difficult it might actually be to level up some of the classes like the monster and or something like a demolition derby car so I was going around in different events trying to figure out like the best way to do so and I have to admit guys doing the navigation slash the time attack races is by far the most efficient way and or the best way to like I guess you could say alleviate stress and or probably get a less stressful experience trying to get these vehicles maxed out. Now don't get me wrong though, I basically did every other race by using like a street tier 1 and or a tier 2, and or even like an alpha GP car and going in a bunch of different races like the Liberty Walk playlist or like jumping into some of the Lamborghini races, so you really can do a mix of everything if you would like to, but if you have been getting a bit annoyed with the AI with some of the vehicle classes, I would recommend trying out the navigation events. Now as I did mention before guys, you can easily keep doing like the same skill over and over and or like instantly restarting it. And then of course going after the part sets that way, but I have to admit guys, I really don't feel like it's going to be a fun experience doing that method. I really would say going over different races around the entire map and or like grinding out certain events 
it's probably going to be a way better experience than farming out like the skills so I would definitely recommend trying out many of the navigation races like the ones that you normally do see in the Vintage Garage playlist to even level up basically every class in this game guys like it really is that good and I would say some of the oddball classes are probably like the best options so if you guys are struggling to level up some of the oddball classes like a monster truck and or like a demolition derby car even a drift slash like a motocross bike I would definitely recommend trying this method out. The navigation events and or something like a time attack race is by far going to be my favorite way to level up some of these classes guys like it really does help tremendously because you not only make a lot of money doing this you also get a lot of spare parts and or I guess you could say you do actually get to keep your insanity which um I think all of us probably need in this day and age but if you guys have any questions at all definitely let me know in the comments below and as always don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more insight.